Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is but a Window, and, well, another case on Mirage. Must be a lot of cheaters on this map this time of year. Either way, the suspect is going to make his way over here towards Millie. It's two nice flick shots. I'm not saying this guy is cheating yet. It's just that a lot of the cases I've done recently have been on this map. Gonna make his way under pass here. Spots Snake out and is able to take him out. One more terrorist left, that would be Sparrow. Sparrow gets a dig on to Husky right there and the suspect's gonna push his way through. A Couple little hops, but good movement. Goes for the no-scope, not quite able to connect with it. He's actually gonna continue to try to get him with the no-scope. And no, he's not gonna be able to finish him off. Right now he's got 14 kills, 122 damage around. Most kills in the server, he's doing really well as far as that's concerned. Shot seems to be quite good. Seems to be a higher level player. Good movement as well. Making his way over here towards middle. One guy top mid over to the left. He takes a spam shot. One guy making his way under pass. Don't think he knows he's there or else he'd have held the angle because that guy is going to come up. Might come back over to check it. Sees the guy top mid to the right. Is able to take down Octopus. Guy has some pretty good game sense. Not sure if it's walls or if it's just experience, but... Right now, I'm thinking this guy is an experienced player. He's gonna take down Snake. The way that he plays actually reminds me of Swag. As weird as that's gonna sound. Just the way that he moves around and repositions and all that kind of stuff. Checking up here towards Palace. Makes his way back over here towards middle. Checks top left, doesn't spot anyone out. Last two terrorists are making their way over towards the B site. Suspect checks towards the ramp. He's not spotting anyone out. Looks back towards mid connector. He's a little bit hyper. Worried that this guy might sneak up on him. I don't think he's got full trust in his team. But honestly, with a shot like that, I think that he could carry this. One guy over here planning over at the B site. He's checking up towards B halls. One guy jumps across as he comes down. Doesn't look like he's using walls. I think he's just a pro level player. Albatross is going to make his way over towards the left, towards that bench. He's able to take down Albatross. One more guy over by Van. He's waiting for him to jump up. He comes out the right side. And, oh, he hits the no-scope, takes him out, and he's going to go for the defuse. I know a lot of you guys out there do watch pro streamers or pro players stream. And if this game looks familiar, link me to it. Is I'm gonna bet this is a top level player. At least a top level American player. He's got that really hyper aggressive American style. You know, he just feels like he can bully everyone with his aim. Anyways, a couple flashes come in here. Doesn't spot anyone out at A main. He's gonna make his way over here towards mid. See if he spots anyone top mid. There is a smoke there. He hasn't spotted anyone out. It takes a spam shot into the smoke in case someone's at the corner. Making his way around towards window room. Let's see if he peeks out. Actually, he's going to make the jump across and come in from catwalk. Well played. Well played. Canary's over to the right. Taking some shots. He knows he's there. He knows he's there. Just doesn't know where. Oh, goes for the flick, hits the wall. Honestly, I think that if there was better pulling on the mouse inputs instead of it being synced to the frame rate, he would have probably not over flicked that. Either way, he's gonna make his way over here towards Palace. He's able to take down Canary. One more guy pushing up, holding down here towards the bottom. See if anyone comes. And <laughs> freaking amazing round. This is fun to watch. Hop comes in right there. He's going to pick up this AWP. And, well, last terrorist is going to be taken out. He's got 24 kills in the first half, and he did it with style. He's going to do a set smoke here to smoke off... I think he's going to do the one to smoke off jungle. But he, he stopped on it. Yeah, jungle smoke. Waiting for the go. Initiating the strat, flash comes over, and they're going to make their way up. Spots one guy out over by... Well, one guy triple box, one guy over by ticket booth. Another guy has pushed out. 
Kind of just holding here. Takes out Iceberg, or his teammate takes out... Iceberg takes out Canary. Damn, I can't talk. All right, he pushes through. He tries to get those two kills there over by the stairs jungle area. Is able to take out one, but not both. And now he's making his way up towards a ramp. One guy over by triple box. He takes a shot. Not quite able to connect. And there's a nice deagle headshot. One guy underneath balcony. He's going to go for the kill. Peeks out. He is able to take down Octopus. And that's going to leave just one CT left, making his way up from Connector. Spots out the guy's head, and he's going to come back, tries to tag him, picks up the scout. Did kind of aim on the guy through the wall a little bit there, but I mean, he did spot him out right before, and I don't think that guy moved left or right, so. Makes his way back over here towards the middle. He jiggle peeks it to make the guy fire first, repositions himself back towards Connector. The guy knows he's here, Albatross. <laughs> Goes for the shot, not quite able to connect, and now he just has to hold the angle until Albatross peeks back out, because let's be honest, there is nothing Albatross can do. He can't get up into the window, he can't go up onto the catwalk, he has to go underpass all the way around and try to, or maybe save his gun, or he's got to peek that area. So once he had that positioning, there was not much that CT was going to be capable of doing without getting shot. Sparrow made his way over here towards Palace. Kind of holding the angle. One guy pushes out on him. He's going to check over towards Snake on stairs. Sprays him down. Takes out Sparrow as well. All right, this game is, uh, well, is practically over. Incredibly high level game. Incredibly high level player. Let's go through this. Minor disruption griefing. I'm going to say insufficient evidence on that. I didn't see him doing anything to hinder the game and make his teammates lose. That being said, we got major disruption, other external assistance. Did he have any speed hacks, automated jumping scripts, or upside down views? I don't think he did. I think that was all uh, natural ability right there uh, with his jumping, because obviously he didn't have upside down views or anything like that. But uh, when he was jumping around, he had a couple of hops here and there, but not enough consistency for me to say that it was a script. So I'm going to go with insufficient evidence on that. Then we got major disruption, vision assistance. Was he overly aware of where people were? No, he was playing it like... A top level player would play it. I mean, he was overly aggressive, overly hyper, but he was doing that because he knew he was outskilling the opponents so easily and he wanted to try to rack up as many kills as he could. Either way, he was doing some amazing stuff. He made the jump onto Catwalk. He knew what he was doing. Let's put it that way. Vision assistance, insufficient evidence. That looked completely legitimate to me. He's just a very high level experienced player. Major disruption, aim assistance. Was he using an aim bot or is his aim naturally? That good. Honestly, guys, I think that he is probably, he might be an acceleration player because it felt like some of his shots when he would flick fast would go too far, but I eh, could be wrong. Either way, uh, like I said, his playstyle reminded me a lot of swag. So, I mean, if you guys go check him out, you'll see what I'm saying. And in this case, I'm going to go with insufficient evidence. I don't think there was any aim assistance. I know that there's that one spot where the guy pushed up into the smoke and he knew he was in there some somehow. I don't know if he heard a footstep or what. But other than that, there was just nothing that really made it look like he was using any kind of vision assistance. I think that he just assumed that the guy pushed in there, took a couple shots, and then when he saw him, he went for the flick shot, was not quite able to hit. I think he may have heard something. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.